A lot of internet types who consider themselves quite masculine, verification pending, are bewildered that women find both masculine and feminine qualities attractive in men. We talked about guy pretty versus girl pretty yesterday. I think facial masculinity is guy handsome versus girl handsome. The latest Oxford Handbook of Evolutionary Psychology and Romantic Relationships concludes that overall, women don't express a strong preference either way on facial masculinity. In fact, if anything, men with slightly feminine faces are most sexually attractive. My buddy Alexander at datepsychology.com collected some rather lighthearted data on this. He had hundreds of people rate Giga Chad, a creature who is mythically attractive, according to red pill geniuses. And he found that while men did guess Giga Chad was hot, women affirmatively said he was not. In fact, ironically, Giga Chad was rated as below average attractiveness by women. What's going on here? Well, the mainstream textbook take on this is something known as the masculinity trade-off hypothesis, or the masculinity paradox. It posits that while facial masculinity probably does signal some desirable traits, robustness, developmental health, certainly fighting ability, facial masculinity also signals some profoundly negative qualities. More masculine humans might be more likely to cheat, more likely to abandon you, and in certain ways mistreat you. Women, as well as females and other species with paternal investments, such as ours, are generally looking for a mate with robust genes, yes, the ability to protect you, yes, but also a male who will be a devoted co-parent and father. So while masculinity does have some attractive components, from a strategic perspective, it wouldn't make sense for a woman to max out on masculinity when selecting mate. And our evolved psychology appears to reflect that.